Welcome back awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I have here the Selene Raider. Uh, next in line of my Acid Rain figure reviews. It's nice to see that we have the uh, that limited edition head that comes from the other figures. It's not released yet on the uh, artwork there. She is going to be the pilot for the Revenant Laurel. Such the videos which I reviewed yesterday and I'll have him out a bit later to uh, compare and put her inside. Looks pretty cool, comes with knife, it looks like two assault rifles, a uh, helmet and something else I can't quite make out because it's so dark in the picture. So let's open her up and have a look and see what she is like. Okay, here she is, oh, a different head and neck, so the helmet is separate, okay. So there are two assault rifles and there is a combat knife, nothing new there. Nothing under the sponge, nothing under the sponge, okay. But the appears she has no side arm. Comes out, looks really nice. Great vest of those sort of pouches on the front that does come off. I do hasten to add, but I won't be taking it off in this video. So she comes with one head with helmet attached, looks pretty nice. Eyes look pretty cool. Comes with a second head and neck, obviously, helmet free. No helmet on this one. Let's have a look. Hmm. Really nice face sculpt, but there are some injection molding lines along the jawline, which you could cut off slightly, but she does look really good. The eye, the right eye is quite nice, the left eye is a bit of a blotch of paint. But that is a fantastic head sculpt, amongst the best I've seen in 118. Very, very nice. Um, I won't look at the guns just yet because they're not new, but let's look at her articulation as she is. Stands up very easily. Uh, left, right, small down, small up. Mm, with the unhelmeted head, she should get a... Oh, that's uber stiff. There we go. Okay, she'll get a small side to side, not really the helmeted head. Uh, shoulders, these are the shoulders. I'm not, they've got the roll on the Toys Lance ones. I keep saying this, but there's no. Okay, I'm going to take that back. Uh, this is an improvement on previous ones because she can get her arms to. The crucifix to 90 degrees, that's good. Bicep curl is going to be phenomenal. Look at that, well over 90 degrees. It's going to make it really, really easy to hold their rifles. That's superb. And they do twist at the shoulder and at the bicep. Wrists is gun articulation on the right and wave articulation on the left, and they do swivel. Uh, there is a trunk, forwards, backwards, side to side, and the trunk, I think, can turn. Waist turns. Hips go quite far, then the sculpt gets away, but it's still pretty impressive. There is a thigh swivel. Forwards is not great, the sculpt gets in the way. Backwards, not bad, considering. Double kneecaps, I'm expecting some really tight joints, because acid rain normally are phenomenal. And this is no exception. Look at that, really tight. And then the feet, the feet twist. They have tippy toe. The dorsal flexation is not going to be too great because the sculpt on the tongue and the trousers gets in the way. So she leans forward a little, just about a little bit. You could cut down the tongue or sand down the. Uh, Sculpt in the uh, trousers, the pants, but I think there's no need for that. 
and the feet do twist. Now, I have to say, these are like the original Soul Commander feet, which I really like, because there's no ratchet, and they are stiff, and they uh, have a neutral position. Very, very good. I like this a lot, and I'm pleasantly surprised with the increase of range of motion on the shoulders. Okay, let's pop this off. And let's pop this on and have a look at it like this. Yeah, she looks good. And now we can see that she has the side to side on there. She looks really, really good. Okay, let's have a quick uh, look at the uh, assault rifles and if she holds them. Which I know she will. Look at this one first of all. This one should be slightly easier to hold because it's not joined at the back, but I think that all will be quite easy with her fantastic bicep articulation. Hands are nice and stiff, but they do have give. Now, the one thing to note is about this awesome looking pouch on the front is they will restrict how far I should bring the gun across before they get in the way. So they do get in the way slightly. However, not enough to stop her from shooting up all the uh, enemies in her territory. She holds that particularly well. Very, very nice. And let's look at the other one. I'm just checking if there's a place for her to stick a knife. Not that I can see. However, there are two little sort of grooves here and here but I'm not sure what they're for yet this rifle would be slightly more difficult to hold in fact I think it'd be a lot more difficult to hold because of that bar number one and also the pouches but I think she'll still do it almost exactly the same in fact maybe even better than the other one Very, very nice, and again, the guns do have drilled barrels, which is something that is missing on Joy Toy. And then her knife, which you'll hold very, very easily. Got the handle. Got the grip. Now, she doesn't have any spare hands, so it would be better for her to hold this in her left hand, since that doesn't have a trigger finger that's going to be sort of poking out. There we go. But the knife really needs some dry brush silver on the blade to make it pop okay so let's have a look at her compared to a couple of other figures and then i'll try and stick her inside the uh, the laurel remnant laurel so first i'm gonna, I'm gonna stick her by some joy toy figures that i've reviewed recently because they are rather nice figures and see how they match together so we have these ones here Girl particularly well and they can actually work together almost the same unit just a little bit of painting and this is the uh but it's just the videos these are the uh skeleton forces paratrooper company i can't remember but let me just the videos the other one i'll compare with is one of my favorite sets about this and this are probably my two favorite sets in joy toy these are the fta wasteland hunter it's one of the one of the three there again she scales very well very very compatible with them too very very nice okay let's bring out the big boy <laughs> open vents Beep. Beep. close Beep. one thing i didn't say about this when i reviewed him the other day is the shields that they come with can interlink together some little teeth you can see and they will just link in together very easily like that now you've got this really nice barricade that is massive that's no forced perspective you know look at that she can hide behind peekaboo very very nicely okay so let's have a look that's sticking aside the uh remnant laurel hood up back part down 
Uh, let me take out the machine gun that it comes with. Handles, I'm going to put all the way forwards. So I can sit her in first. That's the first thing to get to sit in. Try and get the angle right on her legs. Not going to be easy. Okay, if I put the handles back first, I think it might be easier. I can get her legs and all that bit of stuff getting in the way. Okay. Okay, sitting in is quite easy. Now, getting to hold the handles is going to be the really hard part. The handles really would be uh, slightly better. They could be uh, <laughs> taken off and put back in after she's sitting in. Okay, she is now I reckon I have to bend her legs slightly more. Keep it together, let's have a look. Okay, she's sitting in nicely. Handles can come back and I can try and stick her hands. Which is not so easy to hold the handles. Okay, that's almost one. Let's try and get the thumb around the handle. At this position is quite tough. Now the hands do have quite a lot of give, which is nice. It means you can flex them quite a lot, and there's no worry that they're gonna sort of fingers gonna snap off like your old school GI Joe used to when you was a kid in the old in the old Star Wars figures. But still, very awkward to get that thumb around. I think I might just leave the thumb. I might just get the arm to the fingers around the handle, and then be satisfied with that. Well, there we go. That was quite easy. Now, if I see if I've got it right, I've got it to close it. Click. She is in and she is ready to. She is ready for action. Fantastic uh, figure. Celine Raider matches so well, obviously, with the uh, relevant Laurel since they're supposed to go together. She's the pilot anyway. Um, I think this is a great figure, great standalone figure. I wish she had a sidearm, a pistol, as opposed to two, two assault rifles. One assault rifle, one a pistol. Uh, purely because the assault rifles don't really fit inside the mech, or well, they can, but they're rattling around the floor with the little machine gun that the mech comes with as well. She does look the part. Great looking figure. Fantastic sculpt again on the head. I will say that again. That looks so so good. The face is really nice. The hair looks great. Eyes are nice, but one eye is just a slightly bit blotched, like a splodge of ink, as opposed to uh, being a more detailed one. Okay, this is Awesome Match Toys signing out. So please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos because I've got loads on the channel. Lots of Acid Rain, lots of Joy Toy, 118 scale, fan, loads of 118 scale, and other scales too for you guys to enjoy maybe find something new stay happy keep collecting bye bye